Hi, my name is Sean Mabry. I'm a writer, and today I wanted to recommend two resources that will help you in your writing journey. And uh, I was about to say career, and actually, yeah, especially if you want to make writing your career. Uh, because the first resource here is actually a living person named Art Holcomb. He is a uh, highly su successful screenwriter, playwright, short story author, and uh, just, just all around awesome guy who educates other writers in the craft and is, 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 is practicing. He's still writing actively. And in fact, in his weekly newsletter, he shows you how, how much progress he's making in all of his work too, to you know, keep himself accountable. But the great thing about Art is that he's got uh, live events throughout the year. Uh, most of those hosted through either his own company, Author Solutions, or through uh, the Greater Los Angeles Writer Society, GLAWS. And uh, so if you're here in, in Southern California, like I am, Go, definitely go to one of those live events. I, you know, wherever you can find Art Holcomb on the menu, just, just go there and meet him in person. Um, he's a really friendly guy, uh, great sense of humor. He might, he might you know, kind of toughen your hide a, little, a bit, but he's a great dude. And uh, you can also hop on any of his online courses that he offers. Uh, he's got a lot of you know, pre-recorded videos and audios and uh, you know, booklets uh, explaining his, his, his techniques. But the really great thing about art is that he, you know, he, he's the guy to go to if you want to write more powerful stories, more memorable stories, and stories that you can sell. Whether that means you know selling a novel manuscript to a publisher, you know, via an agent, or if you want to sell a screenplay, or if you want to um, you know sell even a, even a play, even a script, a script for a play, or just sell short stories online to magazines. All of that he can help you out with because he's got this. I mean, really, I've looked into a lot of different you know, writing coaches and, and writing experts, and I, I can't think of anyone else who has his balanced perspective between the realities of the craft, you know, understanding the commercial landscape, understanding what sells and what doesn't, but also having this very deep, nuanced, artistic understanding of what motivates us writers to write, why we get into this crazy craft to begin with, and how we can keep ourselves motivated and keep ourselves doing it. And most of all, why stories are important, why stories matter. And really at the core of it is that he, he you know, he, he believes we're all still sitting around the fire, you know, in a sort of tribal sense and that we, we tell stories to teach each other lessons and to pass down wisdom. And that's true of any, any genre, any form. So let's recognize that and honor that. And because we're doing that, Tell stories that work. Tell stories that have the right structure. And tell stories that will be passed on and purchased and sold and shared and spread. So Art Holcomb, great guy. Hop on wherever you can. I'll link to his homepage down below and you can just seriously pick any product or event and just get started. Um, I'm going to be working my way down the entire list <laughs> slowly but surely. So, um, so yeah. Uh, right now I'm actually in his uh, six week success boot camp that he does every summer. And uh, it is awesome so far. Uh, and one of the awesomest things about it is that he recommended a really good book on the craft of writing, which is the second thing I want to share with you today, which is called Elements of the Writing Craft by Robert Olmsted. And this book does something really fascinating. I've read, you know, as you might imagine, a, a ton of books on the writing craft, but none of them really do what Robert Olmsted does here. Typically with a book on the craft of writing, you're going to have, you know, almost all theory. And if you do have like actual like example passages to look at or exercises that you can implement uh, yourself, you know those will be tucked at the end of a chapter after you know reading you know ten pages or so of pure you know theory. And I like theory. I have no problem. I have nothing against theory, but I know that's not how most people learn. And frankly, it's not even how I always learn. It's it's nice to have something a little bit more practical too. So with that in mind, this book is really cool uh, because it takes basically every idea that it wants to communicate and you know the first thing you read is like basically 10 different ways to, to begin a story it may not be 10 but you know so however many number of ways that you can begin a story pulling from both fiction and nonfiction. and what he does is he starts with a passage which is only you know going to be 300 words or so max and then you read the passage and then there's again about 300 words you know very tight very quick his explanation of why that passage works and what you can learn from it. And then there's a series of, you know, two to three exercises 
that you can use to start to implement what you just learned in that passage. And a lot of it is like literally like he almost like will take the passage itself and then turn it into kind of a Mad Lib. So you can borrow this structure from these masters of the craft and start building you know, your story around it. You can plug in whatever you want. And what I think is so brilliant about it is that it, 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 it takes something that is incredibly complex and squirrely and hard to wrap your, your head around at first, which is the, the craft of writing, and it breaks it down into these like in, incredibly bite-sized chunks. And so, you know, if you're already deep in the craft like I am, do pick it up. It'll definitely help you know, sharpen your ax. But especially if you're very new to the craft and you've tried other writing books and you find them too confusing and you're not sure where to start, get this book. This will get you on track. This will get your, your juices flowing and help you dive really deep into the language itself and just produce really rich, varied, powerful prose. So do check out that book. I'll link to both uh, the book and arts stuff under this video. And as always, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, I will see you all next week with more writing advice. See ya.